Complaints of stray animals in Fort Valley are, are on the rise, and one business owner is fed up with feral cats around her shop. The owner of a salon in downtown Fort Valley says the stray cats are attracting hundreds of fleas and it's becoming a health hazard. 41 NBC's Rashad Hollis has more. It's a story you'll only see on 41. Natalia Jackson works at Serenity Hair Salon in Fort Valley, and lately Jackson has seen at least a dozen cats around her business. Eventually, if we're going to be overrun with cats downtown Fort Valley. That's just something we don't need. We had uh, a problem with some feral cats um, that were causing a disturbance for some of our businesses. Um, and that problem originated a couple of business owners um, apparently um, had been feeding the cats. Jackson's business used to be located right by the city courthouse, and that's where she says these stray animals caused a major problem. Last year, the city had to fumigate the courthouse because of fleas. Um, apparently, we got some complaints from a, a, a business owner as well, and uh, about some fleas, and that issue was brought to the attention of the city, and the, the city went ahead and um, proactively tried to fumigate. Um, I don't know exactly to the extent where and how they did it, but I know that they tried to address their problem. Nobody told us that they had the problems at the courthouse. We found out, the, you know, on our own after they did, you know, moved down to the salon that that's where it started at. But they had their place fumigated, and we didn't know. Charles Chambers works at Wright Force Pest Control. Chambers says fleas can take some time to get rid of. We have some sand fleas out here, so that's probably a big problem they're having down in this area with the up under the crawl space in the house where the dogs and the cats live up in the house. The last time we had the flea problem, I had to call, he actually called 911. And they came out, and these guys were covered in fleas trying to get rid of them. Well, feral cats can be a problem because they carry numerous diseases, um, not to mention fleas and insects that they attract. And it can be a, you know, can get to be a public health issue if, if, if left unchecked. Major Lawrence Spurgeon says if you come across a street animal, don't approach it. Well, anytime you come across a wild animal, it's, it's very smart to stay away from it and contact uh, animal control or the, uh, somebody from the Department of Natural Resources. Um, even though the animal might look like a regular cat or look like a domesticated animal, you never can tell, and it's just a good idea to be on the safe side. In Fort Valley, Rashad Hollis, 41 NBC News. Fort Valley police encourage you to get your animals registered and get them spayed and neutered.